Yeah, uh, you told that's that right. you, the, uh, you try the wines. And yeah, we so this uh, uh, we've tried the wines from the uh, Marichal family vineyards, and uh, uh, these are wines from U Uruguay, and uh, they are really exceptional wines. We've had the uh, Sauvignon Blanc, which is a very delicious and beautiful uh, fresh uh, white wine, uh, reminiscent of some of the uh, the, the wines that, that have uh, become popular from uh, from New Zealand and such, and the Tanat, which is a, uh, a grape that. Uh, as we were speaking, has uh, significant health benefits, potentially uh, greater benefits than other varieties. Uh, and it's a very uh, strong and uh, delicious wine. So these are, which are the wines that are primarily uh, consumed uh, by the, uh, on a daily basis? Uh, in our country? Yes. Um, there are, it's, it's, uh, we, we are very used to red wine. We, uh, we drink a lot of tanat, it's the main red variety. Also, we uh, eat a lot of meat, a lot of beef. So the match with beef is perfect, and also there are also a very good consumption of rosé in Uruguay. That is very particular. A lot of people drink rosé wines, and little by little, uh, the the knowledge about tanat is growing, and more people is more interested in in, in achieving the, the the quality of tanat, understand the different styles of. Of, of the different wines. We have, in fact, we have three styles of Tanat. One, since one, one is very young and fruity without uh, oak, and in the other side, we have a, a very complex Grand Reserve that we are presenting now. Is this bottle is our Grand Reserve A. We call it A because it's our first uh, variety, the first variety that we start growing in our vineyard the last century. And also, uh, it is Tanat, and it is our first Grand Reserve. It has 18 months in New Oak, French and American, and it's a very complex and delicate wine. And so you have been uh, involved as a winemaker in your family vineyard for how long now? Uh, I me mean, personally. You personally, yes. yeah. I, I, well, I, I grew up at the winery, so I, I, I love wine and this, this activity since I was very, very young. And I uh, went to Argentina, I lived five years in Argentina, I did the university there, and I came as a winemaker uh, back to Uruguay in 2002. So now it's uh, seven years work with my brother. My brother, he is also a winemaker. We're working together with my father and my mother to, to develop more and more wines and to achieve more markets and to, to present Uruguay in the, in the different countries. Do, do most of uh, the winemakers in Uruguay have uh, formal training or these uh, families that, uh, that, that pass along this, the, uh, the, sci the art and the science to their children? Or do most go away to for formal training in Argentina or possibly California, Europe, and such? Uh, it's, it's very important. I think both things are very important. We we have very uh, good knowledge and about uh, from the, our family experience, but also I think it's necessary to 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 learn a little more, to open the mind. Uh, for me, it was very good to to have the possibility to go to Argentina, living in another country. That gives me a, a very good uh, point of view of the Uruguayan industry. And also, we, we try to be open. My brother, for example, went two years ago to California. He did the harvest there. And I think year by year, more and more Uruguayan winemakers are better, uh, better and better prepared for, for the international trade and for international quality wines. And more and more are going abroad also to do harvest. That is great. And in the States is one of the countries that receive more Uruguayan winemakers to, to make some practice. And that is very good. So what is the state of uh, Uruguayan wines in the world right now? Uh, where is it uh, exported to primarily? Who is drinking it? What kind of reviews are you seeing? Uh, are you getting good feedback on the wines? Uh, and what, what's the future of uh, wines from Uruguay? Uh, we uh, we have some markets that are our focus of uh, in in our sales. Brazil is a is a market that is very near, and there are a lot of a big presence of Uruguayan wineries. So and and the potential of the country as a wine consumer is very is very good. They are learning a lot of wine, and is the the wine consumption is growing, and uh, that is a very important market for Uruguay. Uh, United States is a country also is very important. Also, 
to build image because you are uh, has uh, you has a lot of press and a lot of uh, media that uh, is going around the world that is very important for to develop our image and in Europe UK is our our image country and but we are selling our wines all over Europe Germany and Finland are our main markets uh, at uh, Marichal uh, but uh, for Uruguay is growing also in general East East European countries are are buying more and more Uruguayan wines so uh, we think that in this stage uh, the states uh, also Me Mexico and Canada are good markets for for our country we didn't take any action until now or just a few things in Asia, but I think in the in the future it will be very interesting too. And the percentage of white to red or red to white wines produces its majority is red wine. Is that yeah, correct? it's majority. I don't I don't have the figures in in mind now, but um, it's mainly red. We have a, I told you a very big consumption of, of rosé too, and in the third place is white. Well, obviously you're you're on the coastline, yeah, yeah. so there's a lot of fish, and uh, which is uh, conducive more to the white wines and the rosé. Yeah. We've had the opportunity to taste the Sauvignon Blanc, which is a an exceptional wine from uh, the Marichal uh, family vineyards. Uh, but the Tanat is a very special grape, and uh, as we had said earlier, has uh, uh, significant uh, health benefits that uh, scientists, uh, consumers, and producers alike are very interested in. So I thank you for um, uh, receiving us, and uh, and we look forward to uh, seeing uh, many more uh, uh, wines from Uruguay uh, coming up to the states and uh, getting around uh, the country. It deserves a lot of success because it really is a very enjoyable wine. Okay, thank you very much, and I would like to invite you and all the people who can see this video to come to Uruguay because the winers are with the. The, that uh, the doors open to visits. We are working in the wine tourism little by little, and it's a very nice experience. So it's very easy to to go to Uruguay to find the wineries to try the wines there. And so thank you for, for thank you. This is something that I think you should try because it's a it's will really be worth the trip. Thank you. Okay, thank you.